Hey everybody, Namo Sixo here, and this is another rant. I haven't done many of these in a while, so it makes a change, doesn't it? Change, doesn't it? Yeah. Anyway, this is going to be a World of Warcraft related rant, skill versus gear score. I will be providing back information so that hopefully those who are not familiar with World of Warcraft can understand it. And perhaps they may be able to relate to some other gaming forms um, so, so that they can understand or at least relate to the kind of debate that's been going on with the WoW community. The debate, as the title suggests, is skill versus gear score now this is the um, information behind what gear score is every item on in world of warcraft has two sorts of levels the first is a minimum character level requirement let's say for example level 80 an item you can only equip when you are level 80 and there is also an item level this mean, this determines not only the quality of the item compared to others of different levels, but it also affects the enchanting profession. Enchanting is where you enchant different gear pieces with different kinds of stats. For example, spell power, uh, increased healing, increased critical strike rating, increased attack power, and so on and so forth. Mm -hmm. Now the higher skill you are in enchanting the higher item level you can put an enchant on uh, and the more you can disenchant an item disenchanting an item is where you break it down into the materials which will be used for other in enchants clear so far mm -hmm. now gear score is an add-on which measures and looks at the item level compiles all your item levels up and gives you a final gear score this this can deter this is a simple and quick reference for the kind of number you have for the kind of quality uh, items you have however what the debate is over is whether you should you really sh how much you should really pay attention to this gear score uh, rather than waiting and seeing how skilled the player is. I will give you an example. M the character I am looking at right in front of my face right now is a Restoration Druid. That means he is a healer. What he does is he heals everybody's health back to full to make sure and um, to make sure that they don't die. Essentially, he keeps everybody alive uh, and negates any taking uh, damage taking through various healing spells. Now, uh, I have spent quite a, a lot of time over the past few weeks uh, farming heroic dungeons to uh, get better gear so that he can do higher end raiding content and generally have an easier job healing that's the main way you progress at level 80 by getting f better and better gear um, now the main thing here is that I have done some of the harder dungeons uh, when I was fairly low gear score. When you just hit level 80 and maybe buy a few crafted items, your gear score is going to be quite low. Uh, and so, but I have managed to heal the dungeon Pit of Saron, which is quite difficult. It's a recently added dungeon and is one of the most difficult you can do with five players right now. Mm -hmm. And I have managed to heal that successfully and keep most people alive, um, well, even on the last boss, um, when the tank takes quite a lot of damage. The tank is the person who is keeping all the monsters, the boss or whatever, hitting him. Mm? And so I have managed to keep him alive even though my heals were not that strong. And the other day, when I first was able to do... The, when the first one was eligible to do the uh, heroic dungeon uh, halls of reflection that has quite a lot of damage and what happened was I was healing uh, one of the damage per second DPS members of the party and the tank died but I managed what I have is a called a combat res um, 
that means when I'm in combat, I can resurrect or bring back to life a player once they have died. Most classes, except uh, with the exception of mine, cannot do this. Mm -hmm. And so what I managed to do is I managed to keep heal, heals over time effects on the Paladin just long enough so that I could battle res the tank, heal him up to full health, blowing a full cool, uh, using a few uh, special abilities to have a cooldown, um, and healing him back to full health so that he could then take all the adds and save everyone, and we completed the boss, and I resurrected that player who sacrificed himself so nobly afterwards. Now, I'm not going to try to toot my own horn here, but I would say that this is called what's called skill. That is skill here. To be entirely fair, you're not always going to know right off the bat how skilled someone is. How, uh, however, you do, and or in favour of the gear score add-on, there are some instances and there are some situations where you know for certain, based on gear score, that your player, that said player, is not going to be good enough. I'm not going to take a tank who's only just um, dinged level 80 with only something like a 2000 gear score. The highest I've seen is about 6000 right now, and that's the most top end gear you get. Mm -hmm. I will not take a tank with 2000 gear score to do the hardest boss because they are just going to die so quickly and it's not going to make any difference whatsoever you know if how good a healer I am however however if they have a reasonable gear score if a bit low I would say give them a chance give them a chance to do their best try and play their role effectively whether it be healer dps or tank understand the limitations understand whether another party member is fucking up to cause a wipe and cause everyone to die uh, and keep in mind all of these different aspects and just see how they perform because they may perform very well and it is annoying that someone comes in undergeared thinking they can do it and they are absolute crap at it and have no frippin' clue what they're doing. And on the flip side, um, you can have someone who has got a lot of gear, tons of gear, uh, the very high end, really high gear score, and yet they haven't a flippin' clue what they're doing. They could be just spamming auto attack all the time and think that that keeps everything on them or think that they're doing all the damage all the time. Really, and that's complete rubbish. You know? And so, in, in conclusion, I think I've made my point clear. Gear score is a very useful add-on to have. I would recommend that any player who plays World of Warcraft does play it and that they can help to helps them to learn what kind of standard that they need to aim for in order to complete and participate in high-end dungeon and raid content however I don't think it should be used as a be-all end-all solution to any sort of recruitment or invite uh, basis we should always consider the skill first and the gear score second, except in extreme circumstances. I hope this rant has been quite clear, even to those who are not familiar with uh, World of Warcraft, and perhaps those who play similar MMOs can understand where I am coming from. This is Nemo 6 oh, and I shall see you all on the dark side of the moon. Off and away.